Hello there, bridge players. How are you doing? Today I'm uh, going to show you a little bit of the results from April of the um, Bidders contest that Mark Smith conducts for BBO. Remember this contest you can find on BBO at the beginning of each month and you have to submit your answers and uh, if you are a member of Prime you get to read the answers from some experts. Um, today we're gonna have a look at the answer for one of the problems from last month. This was um, a Michael's hand where you received a not so good uh, um, response from partner when he beats two spades, um, when you have quite a good hand, so uh, you had to decide whether to continue the bidding and how. Um, no, not one person passed. Everybody continued the bidding, of course. Um, and beating hearts was the best action. Um, as you can see, three hearts got the the best mark on this uh, problem. Um, but it wasn't the choice of all, all of the panelists. Some of them bid four hearts, one of them bid four diamonds, which works like a, like a splinter, of course. And as you can see, most of the competitors from BBO, like the people like you or me, that we vote on, on, on this competition, um, got uh, four hearts as their answer, okay? They immediately went to the game. But three hearts, um, I think it's a, a best description because it shows a good hand, it shows good hearts, more hearts than spades, but it also lets partner stop uh, below game in case he has a very bad hand, okay? So you will see some of the comments, why three hearts is uh, the choice of the majority. Um, you will also see why some people decided to beat four hearts, like Klukowski, who's a um, Polish uh, master, uh, very young, by the way, and he he says that's enough for what he wanted to do. Um, one Dutch player also mentioned that he would have overcalled four hearts instead of Michael's with his hand. And, uh, um, well, that's enough for hand number one. Let's see now what the, the other results for the other hands were. And if you, well, if you wrote down your re your results, your choices from last uh, month, you can see here how the votes were. All right, you well we we, we can see how much how many points you get. Okay, so you won't know how much how how well you did, but you can see here how people voted. Okay, the percentages. Okay, um. If you want to see the complete results, you need to uh, be a member of BBO Prime, of course. Let's have a look, though, at the hands for May um, contest, for the May contest, okay? Here we have a 1400 card points hand where we um, passed previously. Some people would have uh, doubled one heart, of course or they would have doubled two hearts maybe. But in this case, we passed twice and our partner reopened the bidding. Of course, we should know that partner can't have that strong of a hand, maybe eight points, maybe 10 points if, if we exaggerate. Um, but uh, of course, some people are, will want to show some support. Three hearts is a possibility, four hearts, I think it's too much, uh, sorry, three hearts is a possibility to show up a strong hand, three spades is another one, four spades I would say is too much, okay, so you have to choose what to do on this hand. I think pass is also a possibility though, this hand. 
Hand number two, we, we have a good hand with a five card suit, but that's a suit the opponents opened. So we have no way of um, showing our, our suit at this point. So we have to either double, pass, beat one diamond or beat one no trump. I think I will choose that for myself. In this case, the opponents started with a kamikaze no trump, 9 to 12 honor card points. And our partner has spades with, I guess, some points. And we have to choose whether to get to game right away or maybe do a cubit. Do you know what a cubit is in this situation when opponents open one no trump? Of course, two no trump. Then hand number four, where our partner uh, entered the beating after having passed over three hearts. I think for no trump shows the minors and we chose to play in diamonds. And uh, now they got to five hearts. We have to decide whether to pass, double, or um, continue to six diamonds. I think all of them have some merit. Uh, hand number five, we have 18 on our card points, quite a good hand, no club uh, stopper. I bet some people are gonna just jump to three diamonds. Some will say to no trump to show, you know, the the, rain, the, the, the amount of uh, the, the strength of the hand. And I guess some others will prefer um, to show the six card diamonds. The thing is that by beating no trump, I think you are closer to finding the five three heart uh, fit. Whereas if you just beat diamonds, partner might close the beating with three no trump, and you have no way of knowing if you had uh, a fit in hearts. So I I don't know what people will choose. I I think I'm gonna go for two no trump. Then we have this hand. I think this is an easy choice. Uh, you have five spades with quite a strong hand, partner having open three clubs. Some people will, get to, will choose to show the spades. I think spades are not good enough to be shown at this level. Uh, some people will choose to support clubs. I think that's uh, not quite a good idea. Hope by the holdings we have in the red suits. And my choice, and I guess most people will do that, is three no trump. I think that's the best we could do here. In hand number seven, uh, they open weak and uh, our partner beat four spades after we had double and they had uh, continued the preemption with four hearts. We know partner passed initially, but we might just have a slam if partner has, let's say, uh, one ace and good spades. Or even one ace and king queen of diamonds. We could have a slam in, in clubs, for example. So I think the choices here will be four no trump, five clubs, five hearts, all of them. And even pass can have some merit, okay? And last but not least, hand number eight, where we, this is another interesting situation of bidding. Partner doubled one heart, showing all the other suits. And when South, the responder, bid one spade, we doubled to show that we also had spades. And partner bid two spades. So we have a fit in spades. South one spade could be a psych. We don't know that yet, of course. Uh, but he could also also have only four spades. So we we might play in a four four fit, knowing spades are badly um, distributed. Okay. Um, so pass is an option, of course. But I would also suppose that beating three spades is another option, or even for some people four spades. Okay, so we have to choose what to do in this situation. 
And of course, I remind you once again to send your answers before April the 25th, 28th, sorry, to competition at bridge-teacher.com. And you also send your name and your um, BBO ID, your nickname from BBO, and also where are you writing from. And we'll see you next month with the results for these uh, problems and, of course, to see the problems for, for June. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like to the video. Bye.